First, if you can talk about why we're looking it's at your hands. Very, very nice. Yeah. It's not a coquetry. You understand? Mm -hmm. Coquetry would mean it's not a, I prefer depersonalization uh, of the architect. Uh, than to represent myself by my own avatar, existing avatar. So I prefer a part of myself without to be the face of myself. When you when you became brown yourself of yourself, you have to repeat yourself. Mm -hmm. It's a condition of the post-capitalism and this kind of copism of uh, uh, cannibalism of yourself. And it's important to develop many labels, many labels now. You are not only one. You are you. Are, it's a profusion of personality. Yeah. It's a personality disorder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And to develop a personality disorder is a way to be an architect and to have several possibilities of infiltration. So that's why it's, just, it's not coffee on the cigarette, it's coffee on croissant. <laughs> it's a <laughs> Jarmusch too. About your work, the thing that is incredibly intriguing about it as a contemporary practice is that it's not uh, geometry based uh, per se, nor is it scenario based per se, but it, it seems like that there's a, a four part relationship of uh, desire, technology, scenario, and geometry. Three is three, you focus on the, on the center point of our work. We, 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 we love to tell stories. Mm -hmm. First, it's we are. Uh, we are telling stories. The premise of the science fiction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm really interested in how um, the stories are talking about the truth mm -hmm. through, through a narration which is not directly the reproduction of the reality. We use the context of your, of your society. You need to implement the stories, not in the past, not in the future, mm -hmm. but if you want that the stories uh, penetrate, infiltrate, you, you and be the vector of the transformation, you have to use the, the background and all the background of the, of the society where you are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think an architect has to move a little bit yep. also in this uh, possibility of telling stories. Yep. Yep. And in this case, when you tell stories, to find the, the, the way of the uh, technology of today, yep to create the condition of a process of reality inside the stories itself. Yeah, yeah. When you work uh, in Thailand or when you work in some other place, it is, it's not that you try to look at it totally externally or to try to get to the truth of the place that you're in, but more that you use technology as a way to tell a story about uh, the place. It, it, it's something which is not from the context, yeah. of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it, it's, it, uh, it's something also to, be, to avoid to be, to be felt by the context. <laughs> you have an empathy, mm -hmm. you have a self-consciousness, you are affected, that is perfect. Mm -hmm. you, are affect, you are corrupted yeah. by the situation, yeah. and at the same time you try to be at distance yeah. from the situation because you bring your own uh, ability to understand the situation from some, somewhere else. Yes. Yes. So you accept this confusion. In any situation, you could avoid to see the reality as a pure uh, 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 strategy of naivety, or you could deny the reality, or you could also dramatize. You understand know dramatize? Dramatization. Okay. The dramatization of the reality by using the fears. Uh, and uh, our work is trying more to be to objectivize the reality and to take the context as it is. Mm. To make visible what uh, the materiality of the situation. I cannot change the climate of Bangkok, which is one of the most polluted of the world for many reasons. I know the reason. I cannot promote a perfect clean architecture in the context where the pollution is uh, is uh, chemical, is a chemical of the city. So it's clear that the project we did in Bangkok is to use this uh, situation, to use the dust as uh, acceptation of uh, this biotop. Of course, the critics of the failure of the urbanism, or the failure of the human development. But I'm not moral. I don't want to make lesson. I'm not uh, teaching morality. I just want to use the biotop as it is, using a context as a first matrix of the transformation. Each context develops its own reality. We are no more like the 50s or the 60s, 
jumping, of a, uh, jumping on the moon to jump o- by a odyssey uh, with a starship, dreaming to escape. Yeah. We have no more the possibility to escape of the condition of the failure. Yeah. We are in, inside the system of our own destruction yeah. and reconstruction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally, it creates a condition of the um, acceptation of our own biota. Uh-huh. If we really put ourselves in the right place, we could renegotiate yeah. the position. Yeah. And this renegotiation with the other spaces, natures and, uh, and the wild, uh, wild. There's nothing is wild now. Uh, you know about the polar bear, you heard about the polar bear in, in, the, in the North Pole. Well, because of the pollution of the territories where there are reproduction themselves, yeah. yeah. it's incredible pollution coming from the Arctic Stream and the Gulf Stream. Yeah. Which are carrying a lot of, not only rubbish, but also carbonic gas and more, and, more. and the plutonium coming from the submarine, the Russian submarine, uh, the Russian cemetery really? submarine. Yeah, it's incredible. And because of that, the polar bear, five percent of the polar bear now are becoming a maphrodite. They modify their sexuality, they modify their physiology to survive to this new condition. Oh so it's interesting uh, how this position of the polar bear interests me. Yeah. Yeah. They are not denied, they are not dramatized, they just mutate themselves to, yeah. as a Darwinism to yeah. accept the new condition, yeah. 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 to survive in this new condition. Uh, wait, wait, one last thing. Okay. Do, do you believe in symbolism today? Symbolism is, is something which could reduce the reality uh-huh. to an iconography. It is kind of, no, we are not symbolism right. at all because we, 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 we implement phenomenological inside the, mm-hmm. the symbolism. So, biotop is interesting, it's more territories, mm-hmm. in the sense okay. of territories, okay. where there is multiple disorder <laughs> inside the territory. It, could, it cannot be reduced to on one way. You need to, to weave the relationship, to mm-hmm. weave the, and the weaving is not symbolism. You have many entrants, many possibilities of reading, many possibilities of uh, to be affected by your situation. And it's interesting how to weave themselves without to lose one inside the way to produce the building. To keep intact from the beginning to the end this, this, this complex story with all the characters. Mm. And to avoid to minimize or to reduce this reality to one way. Mm. Technological way or biological way constricting way to keep intact this many entrance even at the end of the building so to let open the possibility of the narration to go further even if the building is constructed yeah. mm-hmm. that is really important for me especially with the building we are creating which to try to 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 let the doors open to 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 unfinish stories